Hey everyone, it's the Life Doctor here, and I hope that your day is going wonderfully for you. Uh, I just wanted to do a really quick video and um, kind of give you some updates or fill you in on what I plan to do um, health-wise, fitness-wise, now that I have um, run my second 5K. Um, I'm still excited about that. I'm still feeling so good about that. Um, I mean, the Lord really, really blessed. Um, so where do I go from here? What am I going to do to continue working out and, and keeping fit? Well, certainly I plan on running more races in the future. When exactly, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about possibly doing one in the um, early fall, like maybe somewhere around Labor Day. If not, definitely I'll just do one next summer. Um, either next summer or, or late spring. We'll, we'll kind of see how that, that works. But um, yeah, I, I'm in a really good space um, physically, health-wise. I feel really confident about where I am. I'm not yet where I want to be. Ultimately, um, I would love to uh, run a full out marathon and that's what I will be working towards um, but over the next few years this is not something that I'm planning to do next summer or even the summer after that um, I want to gradually get myself mentally and physically prepared for that um, so in line with that I think that the next race I will run whether like I said it's in the fall or summer or spring um, it's going to be a 10k and so when I train for races as I've um, shared with you before I like to train for the next higher race so um, for the 5k that I just ran um, on Sunday I found a two-month training program for a 10k so I trained as if I were you know uh, training for a 10k and so because my next race is going to be an actual 10k um, I have looked looked for and found a three-month um, half marathon training guide that I'm going to be following probably going to start doing that in June um, so that'll take me to September so it'll be work out perfectly if I do in fact find a race for the fall um, if not you know training for a race is a really great way to work out and keep fit so that's not an issue um, and the other reason why I really want to to um, do my training starting in June through September is because the weather is still going, going to be agreeable and um, able to have me outside. Once we start getting to the fall, at least for me, it just starts getting too cold and I just don't want to deal with being outside even though I love being outside. And so um, from September to probably the end of February, maybe mid-March, I will probably switch up my routine and take my exercising indoors and really uh, engage in some high um, intensity interval training. Um, I already have, you know, the Insanity um, DVDs and um, things along those lines. So I'll probably engage in doing a lot of those as well as strength-based exercises. What I have learned about myself physically is that as I get stronger, as I get fitter, um, even though I love to run, I have to switch it up and do something else um, with along with the running um, because running, at least where I'm at now, it's getting easier. Um, which is a great thing because that means that I'm getting fitter, but it means that I'm not expending as much energy anymore to do it. My body has learned how to become more efficient at running, so I'm burning less calories. Um, so I, I went for um, a run this morning. I did um, what did I do? I did like three point, I did like three point five seven miles, um, and I just I was I just really wasn't that tired. So. Um, you know, I'm sure I ran it at a, at a, a slower pace than I ran the, the um, 5K, but, you know, still, I, I, I recognize I need to switch it up, and so that's why um, I'm going to be training as if I'm doing a half marathon, like I said, and it's going to have me running longer distances, of course, and then I'll transition to the high-intensity stuff and strength-based training. So that's what's going to be going on with me in terms of the exercising portion of my journey. Um, in terms of my weight loss, I'm not... I'm not really actively trying to lose weight um, I'm just trying to get stronger and fitter and I, I may gain weight especially as I um, engage in the strength based training because of muscle mass being developed um, but I do want to get leaner um, 
I, want, I just want to be really fit. And again, my long-term goal is preparing myself for a marathon. Um, so, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and, you know, as a byproduct or as a result of me uh, continuing to work out, um, getting leaner, I may lose more weight. I may not. I don't know. But um, my goal is to become stronger and fitter. So that's what I'm working towards. Now, in terms of my diet, what I'm eating, um, I'm still continuing to eat, you know, a lot of green leafy vegetables, um, raw, uh, raw fruits, but more veg. But I personally eat more raw fruit uh, vegetables than I do eat um, raw fruits, but I do eat raw fruits as well. Um, a lot of green smoothies, um, trying to not eat late at night. Um, Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle for me, but I'm trying to maintain not eating late at night and, um, you know, not eating a whole lot of processed foods and being planful. And I still count my calories. I still use my Fitness Pal app. I I don't I don't know if I will use it forever, but just because I'm where I want to be weight wise. Um, or size wise or whatever doesn't mean that I'm gonna just all of a sudden stop what I've learned about myself again is that I need structure um, and I try to do this whole weight loss managing how I eat how much I eat thing on my own yeah that was an abysmal failure so I'm gonna continue doing what works okay if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm just gonna leave that alone and continue with that um, now I told you in a previous video that I was going to start doing some challenges because I want to you know keep things interesting and also share with you and you you know a lot of you have mentioned that you know you, you've gotten on board with the challenges or or at least it's been inspiring and encouraging for you so I'm gonna be doing six challenges I'm gonna be spacing them out every other month I'm probably gonna start in July and that'll cover a year so it'll be July um, September November uh, January so forth and so on so it's I'm gonna skip a month so it'll be six um, challenges to cover six months but skipping a month and so that'll do the whole year um, and um, I'll keep you posted on what you know the challenges are going to be and because I'm doing challenges or just because I'm doing a challenge every other month doesn't mean that the challenge for the month is going to be a month long so it could be that in July I do a seven day green smoothie challenge or a seven day juicing challenge or a two week no processed food challenge or, or a 21 day vegetarian challenge, whatever. So I'm just going to figure out, you know, um, what I want to do for that month and then share it with you guys and, and invite and encourage you guys to come on board with me. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Those are my projections for the future. I hope that this has been encouraging for you, um, motivating for you. I, I pray that uh, you continue on with your um, fitness goals and your health journey. And, um, you know, the most important thing is to make sure that you're doing this because you really want to change your lifestyle. You you really want to be healthy. You, you, you want to become the best you that you can be. You know, trying to make rash decisions or rash changes or trying to get into quick fixes, you know, just for an event or to please a person or whatever the case is. That's very short term and not likely to have you living the kind of way you want to live and looking the way you want to look for the long haul so make sure that this is a lifestyle thing that you want to do um and i think that you'll be blessed for it so once again this is the life doctor and i will see you in the next video bye